Welcome back to S. Wiggins TV. As always, I'm your host, Worldwide S. Wiggins. And I'm back with another episode of Bloods and Cribs Hanging Together slash Enemies Working slash Hanging Together. Before we start, man, I must say, man, I'm surprised. Look at how many people really donated to the cause. I'm shocked, man. You proved me wrong, man. I really can't do nothing with this amount of money, but I, I really appreciate y'all. I got to give a shout out to all the people that donated, man. Hey, Spoon Coon, you ain't had to donate. I know you rock with Tommy me. Tommy Guns, I know you rock with me, man. You ain't had to do nothing, man. Shouts out to everybody that donated, man. Much love, you feel me? Shout out to everybody on this list, man. I love you, man. And by the way, this was just an experiment, man. So if you want your money back, let me know, man, because it, it was just an experiment, man. You feel me? I'm going to have some merch cracking off. I'm going to be selling some, sh some shirts later on, bro. Later on in the game, I got a movie coming, so stay tuned, man. This was just an experiment, but I love y'all. To everybody that donated, I love you. I got something special uh, coming up just for y'all. But to the suckers out there that, 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 that left me hanging still after I said, the, uh, you know, I did this bet, you feel me? I'm going to keep my distance, man, but... It's all love, man. KG, what it do? You too, man. Everybody that donated. Much love, man. But uh, let's get straight to it, man. First things first, the song, Paru Love. One of my wig splitters told me, hey, Wiggins, you know the song Paru Love by the Parus, you feel me, off the blood and Crips banging on wax. You know it's a Crip singing on the hook, right? On the chorus? I said, what? At first, I was pissed, man. Because you feel me? I'm like... Because they told me it was Folk Clips. You feel me? From Kelly Park, man. Shout out to Folk Clips. Shout out to the Kellys, man. Kelly Way, like y'all be saying, man. Feel me? Much love and all that, but... At first, I was mad, man. Like, come on, man. I, I, I mean, we don't get along. Why, why is a Crip singing? But then I thought about it. We made y'all. You. That's y'all go-to song. That's y'all... That's the Paru anthem. You feel me? So... How does it feel to know that a crip made y'all? You feel me? I know it. I know it must taste like shit when you sing that mother. <laughs> so I'm ruining it for you, man. A crip has something to do with the Paru Love Anthem, man. What? We made y'all. Now what? Yeah. <laughs> now I'm talking trash, man. But you know, this, this, this is just a little something. Did you know that? I had no idea until. Uh, my boy told me in the comments section, man. Oh, I, I had no idea. I never really listened to that song. Believe it or not. True story. But yeah, man. All right, next. You got the movie Dead Homies. Now, check this out. I pretty much said this already in my Where Are They Now episode. But in the movie Dead Homies, this young man right here who played Pooh Bear, who was a blood from Swans, the main character in the movie, in real life, he's actually a crip from 111. Now, I can't say cut name, you know, because, you know, I ain't got his permission. But it's a well-known fact. You feel me? I know people related to him. Like I said before, other than when you do something called, you know, blending in where you dress up like an enemy and go to, you know, enemy's hood and all that, this is pretty much forbidden and unheard of. But I'm very happy that they was able to rise above the violence and there was no controversy. And to be honest, they put together a, a classic film that we all grew up on, you know, because it was something positive that shows the dangers of bad side of the street life, man. So all the youth out there, you know, wake up, you know, when you watch this movie. But yeah, did you know that? But all right, next, you got this group called The Young Giants, all right? The Young Giants is two very underrated rappers that I've been listening to for almost 10 years now, since like 2014, 2013, something like that. But they used to have a song called Pay Style 3, you know, and they had some more songs that's super dope. And to be honest, they should be way further in their career. And make sure you go check them out. They real fire. You know, they real dope, man. Two dope artists from the land, the Young Giants. But I just wanted to point out that somebody told me that, you know, they affiliated with the Cribs. The homies, I think the homie said Avalon. Y'all don't want to say something be wrong. But at the same time, you feel me, they was able to work with Big Face Hunting, who was a known member of Cedar Block Paul Rule. 
and is also known as the rapper Game's older brother. You know, they work with Big Face, and uh, you know, this was more so to shed some spotlight on the talent out there, man. But yeah, for sure. All right, next, you got something called a Carson movement slash the LBC slash Carson movement. It's a collection of rappers, you know, from the South Bay what, slash Long Beach. And this should be at the top of the list, honestly. Because what they did is unheard of, you feel me? They got Pa Roos, Crips, and Bloods in the same group who was in the same vicinity. You know, real actual people that beef. Not just a blur from here, a crip from over there. Decades ago, they were shooting at each other, allegedly, and trying to take each other's head off. You feel me? Allegedly. If only they older homies would, would, have, would have lived to see this. You feel me? But correct me if I'm wrong, but don't they have uh, West Side Paw Rules and who else over here? Cabbage Patch, Carson Bounty Hunters. I don't, I don't know about uh, East Coast one on those, but... Stevenson Village and other Damu Carson hoods and Victoria Parks and, uh, you know, Insane and 20. They got a whole collection of hoods that beef with each other rapping together, man. I tip my hat to y'all movement, man. You know, I never seen nothing like that before. I might have named a couple of gangs that's actually not in this group, but make sure you let me know because, you know, I'm letting you know I'm not sure. So make sure y'all list the actual hoods that's in this group. Shouts out to the LVC Carson movement. All right, next. You got the West Side Connection. This is actually already a known fact, but wait, check this out. The group West Side Connection consists of Ice Cube, Dub C, and Mac-10. Now Ice Cube don't really gangbang, but Dub C, he pushed 111 Neighborhood Crip, and Mac-10 is from Inglewood Queen Street Bloods. Now the Queen Street Bloods, they don't get along with 60s and any neighborhoods for that matter. And 111, they pretty much be for all Inglewood Bloods, so them actually forming a rap group together and looking past the BS is actually dope. But see, I brought this up as a gateway to an even bigger segment that I wanted to show y'all. Check this out. Mac-10 had a group called The Hood. They had the album, you know, Mac-10 Presents The Hood. And it was a fire album, by the way, back in 2002. And that album they had, it was a real industry, you know, certified album they had timbaland making beats on there it was a real industry out there out there album not some local stuff and that group the hood consisted of a bunch of bloods and cribs mac 10 you know already from queen street k mac who was a crib technique who was a long beach crib super duper underrated by the way shot the technique uh scoop and deviasi now focus on deviasi deviasi is very important because if you don't know who he is He's the homie from Shotgun Crib who did that hard in the paint freestyle where they was mobbing and green rag down. But back in the Mac-10, you know, the hood days, he was sea walking all in the video. And it, that day was hard as a mother. Y'all go back and watch it. <laughs> For real. I did a tribute, you know, because he ended up um, changing his name to Freeway Booby or, you know, Booby Soprano, you know. But I did a tribute to him. You know, unfortunately, he passed away from a homicide a few years ago. You know, I should redo it, man, because there's so much, you know, dope information that I left out. But rest in peace to him, man. Rest in peace to Half Pint. For sure. Next, BG Knockout is one of my favorite West Coast rappers ever. I mean, I really listen to his music, you know, and not just the song he got with Eazy E. You know, real mother G's or real cop to city G's. Well, it's the knockout. Definition of original baby gangsta. <laughs> nah, I really listen to BG Knockout, man. I rock with Knocky, bro. I like his style. You know, he a real one. BG Knockout is really from Nutty Block Compton Crib. And hey, he got a song with a Paul Rue. Y'all check it out. Just shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Before I grab you by your throat and leave you cut, cut up. up. A boat 50, a hook and an uppercut swiftly. Then push off in the block and a cut bitly. Don't tip me. All right, now, speaking of Easy e check this out. Did you know the legendary Easy e who was from Compton, you know, who, who's the king of Compton? He put Compton on the map. Did you know Easy e funeral, or whether it was the funeral or a, a repast, it was over there in the Rolling 20 Bloods hood, and 
It was no beef. Even the Bloods came there and showed respect. Everybody showed respect. Their Bloods came to the funeral. Crips came to the funeral. It was all love. Man, rest in peace, Easy man. He's the man, bro. He was the man. Rest in peace. All right, let's go on to Take It Home, man. YG, a rapper from Treetop Paul Rule. He was cool with Nipsey Hussle, and he always pay respect to Nipsey, man, which I really appreciate, you feel me? F the BS, you feel me? But he also saw TC, 4800, a rapper from Schoolyard Cribs, to his label, 400 Records. You know, you might see him uh, on songs with YG like Meet the Flockers, and he also put TC in a movie, Blame It on the Street. And in that movie, you can see him doing the Flizz Knock together. And they got a funny scene where they was calling each other blood and cuz, and they was like, stop blood and me. And TC was like, stop cuz and me then, ninja. It was cool. Nah, that movie was dope, man. But yeah, man, even though these hoods don't beef, you know, it is called B's and C's hanging together, man. But yeah, that's all I got today, man. That was a dub sack, huh? Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, man. You feel me? You can keep donating if you want to. <laughs> I ain't turned out nothing but my collar, man. But, nah, if you want your money back, man, make sure you write me. And let me know. Hey, Sam. I'm out of here. Peace.